Hey there everyone, Jason Winter from MMOBomb.com here, and today we're taking a first look at Hyperscape, the new Battle Royale from Ubisoft, currently in open beta. And if you've seen videos of this, or if you've seen any kind of promotion or anything, your first thought upon seeing it is probably that it's really fast. And it is. That is absolutely a focus of the game, about movement, about speed, about all sorts of crazy aerobatic, acrobatic, aerobatic maneuvers. And that is true. But even for someone like me, who doesn't have the greatest, you know, snap reflexes and so forth, I still find it fun, I still find ways to play and to do fairly well with it, if you know the right things to do and the right way to play to sort of minimize that advantage for others and maximize your advantage. So I'll get into that in a bit, but right now we're going to take a look at that, some of the basic systems around the game, show you around, then we'll jump into a match or two and see if we can, uh, see if we can be competent, you know? <laughs> So right now I'm in the Hyperscape Hub, which is the uh, little area you start out in. Got Robot Lady up there who tells us everything about the game. Uh, go around here, you got various doorways. This one shows news and updates. There you go. New stuff. You read about the Battle Pass, Chromecast, tips and tricks, so on and so forth. That's one thing I'll mention actually right now is that we don't, uh, we won't really show this off during this first look. But they've done a really good job with the Twitch integration of this. Uh, one of the things you do if you're watching a Twitch stream you'll be able to vote on various events that will happen during the match, and those will come up as we play anyway. Um, the other thing that is that the Battle Pass is something you can upgrade actually while watching Twitch streams, if you have all your Ubisoft accounts linked and so forth. I've actually gained like two and a half levels just by watching streams, so that's a pretty cool way to do it. Yeah, it's sort of like when you had to, you know, do open beta or do uh, watching a stream to get uh, access to the beta or the testing or whatever. I feel this is not as bad because you still have access to the game. This is completely optional if you want, but I, I like it, and I've yeah, I've found uh, it's not so bad. All right, so on the news, we also have the Battle Pass itself. You can see right here, I'm on level 6, 82 of 200, and it shows you all the various stuff you can get. Right now, they're in the, uh, I guess, open beta season 4. It ends in just 20 days. The open beta started three days ago from when I'm uh, recording this. And you get all the various stuff, you know, sprays, emotes, get my drop pod, I can get skins for guys, so forth, skins for my weapons, etc., etc. I will get to the shop in a bit, but it's it's all cosmetic stuff. Yeah, there's nothing that there's nothing that affects gameplay or whatever, so between the battle pass and the uh, the shop. I can also look at my challenges, aka my daily quests or my weekly quests or whatever. I haven't played yet today, so I need to get some of this hopefully to uh, accrue some points. Here are my weeklies, so on and so forth. Same sort of thing. Do these, you get credit for uh, moving along. Uh, that's where I'll play, so I'll get to that in a moment. Over here we have, hey, the shop, the marketplace. So what's in the marketplace, you ask? Well, stuff. Skins, uh, celebrations, aka uh, those are like your victory celebrations and so forth. Now, as you can see, there's eight hours left, so this all rotates on a daily basis. So there'll be different stuff in here in about eight hours. If you want to buy currency, your typical typical uh, rates, 1,000 for 999, 2,500 plus a bonus for $25, 5,050 plus your bonus, et cetera, et cetera. Same old, same old. So if you want to look at a skin here, of course it costs 900. I can only buy it for, you know, 1,000 at a time because that's how they love to do things. Got to have that extra 100 left over and think, oh man, what am I going to do with that? Got to buy more. So there you go. That's the shop, and that's about it. I should comment, though, that I it's interesting in the uh, Battle Pass that they don't have a paid one yet. I would imagine when they go live, they'll have a paid one, because right now this is just available for anyone. There's, there's no way to pay for a Battle Pass right now. But I would guess they'll eventually go uh, and have a paid one as well. Uh, this is an interesting door over here. Looks like champion or tournaments, rather, which is still in the coming soon category. So I guess we'll see about that later. Over here is my locker. Just all my uh, stuff, all the cosmetic stuff I have. I can choose which champion I want to play. Now, there's no difference between them, gameplay-wise. They all just have a little bit of a, a background or whatever, so I can read about what they're like and so on. The game is set uh, about 30 years in the future, where people are going into this virtual world to do, to do battle in the Battle Royale. And if you win this, you get fame and fortune and whatever the heck, uh, whatever. But... Strange things are happening. People are dying. Oh, no. So 
we'll see how much they actually go into uh, the real story of it all. So, let's see, you got her, you got him, got her. Are you ready? Got her. Out. Who haven't I? I like this guy. Hey, let's get on with it already. Let's get on with it already. Apologies to my uh, Scottish followers, but I'm going with him. Got my pod here. This is what you drop into the match with. So I just got this one. This is uh, from my battle pass. Sure, I'll equip that. Let's see if I take a better look at it. That's uh, another Twitch one. I got this Twitch one for the uh, the uh, battle pass during the, the test. But I'll go with this one. Uh, emotes. I got a new emote. Celebration emote. Uh, you stand there and you show off your guns. Oh, yeah. All right. Sure. Uh, these are the other ones are either sprays or emotes. I'll show you how the sprays work in a little bit. Hollow tags, they're actually called. I can have another emote there if I wanted. But I'm going to stick with those. Emblem, that's just what goes next to my name. Like I got this little thing here. You can see that in the lower left corner next to my name when I get back to the main screen. Weapon designs, here are all the skins and stuff, which I have none of yet. So, typical stuff there. Melee weapon, I can customize my melee weapon. I have a few choices there. You can probably see the, the red and whatever axe as I come back to the main screen. And my loading screen, which is that. So, that's the last customization. Let's see, there's my axe. Finally, over here, we've got the squad. If I had people to play with, I can invite them to my squad. We can play. It is teams of three normally. There's also an option to play solo. So, got a couple options there. There is no friends list right now, which is a little uh, little annoying. Like, if we wanted to group up, I'd have to actually, I mean, you would kind of do that normally. You know, I'd say, hey, my, my name is Karzender. You know, invite me to your group if you're with friends. But, like, the other day, I played a couple of matches with some guy. We, were, you know, we did pretty well. I, I liked him. And I was like, hey, I'd like to maybe put that guy on my friends list. Maybe I'll group up with him again later. But I can't do that. So kind of annoying that they have it that way. Um, one last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to just take a real quick look over to the uh, training area, which is back here somewhere. Here it is. You'll start in here when you first load into the game, and it'll show you the basics of how to play. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of that before we get into a match so I can kind of explain it better here rather than having to try to explain things when I'm trying not to get killed. So it's a battle royale, duh, which means you have weapons. So over here I can go grab a weapon to play around with. This is the shotgun. And it's a shotgun. Yeah. Bam. All right. Uh, let me actually do that one more time. Grab a little more ammo. Reload. And she's explaining how this goes here right now. Now, uh, one shot here with a shotgun. 75 to his chest. However, you can upgrade your weapons. And this one just upgrades mag size. Okay, it doesn't upgrade damage. Okay, it upgrades damage on the final level. Every time you level, it tells you what it gets. Usually more uh, mag size or more uh, damage. You can see right there. A ripper, max level ripper has bonus mag size and bonus damage. So this did, uh, what was it, 82 to the guy when it was on base form. And there it does 105. So, as you go, so if you find weapons, you want to upgrade them, and they're really deadly at max level. So this guy, the sniper rifle, 50 with a base shot. If I upgrade it all the way, up 80. So, pretty nice difference, and that's how you win generally is by finding the better weapons, finding the uh, uh, finding the max levels of them. Now, there are also hacks. These are special abilities. The hack spawner area. So let me find you know, invisibility. What would you expect? Oh, look, I'm invisible. This guy can't see me. He can't see me. Okay. And I uh, pop him in the head. There we go. And hacks also upgrade, usually with a better cooldown time. Oops. Invis. invis. All right. Cooldown time or duration in the case of invisibility. So that's how those work. Here's a mine, which homes in on people. That does 50 at base ramp, base uh, level. I do that. And now, 
75. I finish you off. There we go. A lot of other interesting abilities, though. Like, here's the wall. Now, I can choose when I find a hack. If I've already got two, I can choose to replace one. So I do that. I put up a wall. And it's a wall. There you go. How do you get over that wall, you say? Well, you can shoot it down. Or you can maybe use this hack. Boom. And slam. And that does damage when you come down with it. There we go. That poor bot. And there's also healing. Uh, armor, which makes you invulnerable for a while. The ball. Ball is cute, although I really don't know how good it is. Boing. Boing. Can actually damage someone. I can move them around with it. But that's about it. All right. A uh, little short range teleport, shockwave, slam again. So there's about, what is it? I want to do five. About, I can't tell now. So I got stuff around. Ten hacks, it looks like. Ten hacks, about the same number of weapons, I think. So pretty good variety of stuff. And then the last thing I have in the tutorial is occasionally I'll find little weapon boxes here, which will get me stuff. There are also these barriers you can break down. And those will block off buildings, so you need to break those down to get inside. All right, so that is pretty much the basis of the game. So let's hop in and see if we find a good one. I'm going to go with the squad at first here, although I've got my uh, squad mate's voice turned down to nothing. Hopefully uh, they won't be yelling at me to do various things because I ain't going to hear them. It's typical Battle Royale in that you'll want to uh, yeah, eliminate, all, eliminate all the other teams. However, once they get down to, I think it's five teams, or once, once the uh, map closes off to an extent, to when it's the smallest, uh, smallest size, the crown will spawn. Then what happens is someone can, get, can gain the crown. If they can hold it for 45 seconds, they win the match. Or, of course, you can still just destroy all the other teams. But it does provide a little bit of an alternate victory condition like that. All right. I've got my three-person team. Tantric Thrower and Negalok. Oh, I mentioned the emotes and sprays. So the sprays are like this. And they go... They have distance to them, so I can go all the way up there with mine. Now, the game is a lot of parkour, basically. It's a lot... You get double jump. You can also kind of grapple onto ledges. Uh, I didn't make that one. It's from over here. I have to do it. There we go. So like I said, as you can see here, a lot of movement. A lot of people moving around. But what I've found is you can do pretty well if you like hole up in a building. If you're the type of person who doesn't like moving around quite as much, if you're inside a building, that kind of negates a lot of that advantage. So if you find the right weapons for that, usually stuff like explosives, like grenade launchers and whatnot, that's what I tend to prefer. You can do pretty well with them and just kind of close off an area rather than having to like go outside and do like precision shooting, people on rooftops, whatever. I'll try to do a little of both just so we can see what it's like. And of course, I'll have to follow my team around and hope that they uh, they stick with me and have my back. Don't you dare throw, Tantric Thrower. Don't you dare. There's no friendly fire, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Or friendly axing. All right, see, so yeah, I'll let them try to decide where we're going to go. Nobody's making a decision. Come on, guys. Nobody? All right, fine. I'll, I'll choose. We'll go over here. As you can tell, the game has a ping system as well, of course. Because that's pretty standard these days. Another thing I should mention, too, before it happens, is when you die, it's not over. You become a ghost. And you can go around the map. And if you can find a spot where someone else died, a res point, your teammates can revive you. So we'll see if I can get that to happen. Well, hopefully I won't die. We're going to win, right? Yep. I'll just go down here. Fine. Oh, I'm failing. All right. Ammo, ammo. Give me a gun. I've got the little SMG. What's over here? Invisibility. Oh, Hexfire. There we go. I like that. It's like a mini gun. Uh, where is anybody? This is where I just was, right? 
Same building. Oh, oh upgrade my Hexfire. Okay. Healing, that's good. Uh, armor or Invis? I'll stick with the Invis for now. Yeah, he was just in here. Okay. Uh, my guys are over here. And there's also these jump pads. So, oh, wait, there's something over here. What is that? Is it just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with that. It's kind of an explosive weapon. There's a jump pad. Where do we go? We're over here? Okay. Some shooting going on. I don't think it's us, though. Let's get some more loot here. Uh, better invis, okay. What do you got over there? A mine? I don't need a mine. Let's see. Uh, uh, there's the SMG again. Oh, it's Skybreaker. Ooh, the Skybreaker. Hmm. I think I'd rather have that. That's like a big old rocket launcher. Ripper. You can also see in the lower left what your allies have equipped. So pinging stuff that they have. Ooh. One of our guys just took some damage. Where is that? I think uh, okay, he's fighting somebody. Oh, yep, there's something going on. Oh, good. Got him. Good job. Uh, he's got stuff I don't need. Oh, he's over there. Okay, he's he's leaving. He's out. Uh, there's definitely stuff going on over this way. Okay. Oh, there's someone with a grenade launcher up top there. I don't, that means I want to be not up down here on the ground. Where is he? Pop my heel. Oh, hi, you're right there. Holy crap. Yeah, there's mines coming at me. Okay. I hear people. They're up there. Oh, I'm hurt. Down my heel. Yeah, this is not my best kind of territory here. I'll go invis for a moment, see if I can sneak up on somebody. Get back to my team at least. Oh god. Where, is he? Where are they? Where? Okay, there's a guy. Ah, dang. That's a ball. Ah, I'm just terrible with that. That guy's low. Eh, I got a shot on him. Oh, I'm dead. All right, now, as I said, I'm a ghost now. And there's a dead person there. Let's see if someone can res me. Where are my allies? Oh, nope, they're not close. Nope, you don't want to do that. Get him. Good job, good job. Trying to get me now. While you're a ghost, you can still, like, call out stuff, too. You can move around the map. You can call out your... Oh, another one's dead. Oh, you just got to run, buddy. Run, thrower. Okay, he's running for it. Let's see if we can find a uh, res spot for me. No. He's just up in this building now. That's not going to help us. All the res spots are back that way. Uh, you can see this area is starting to de-res too, or whatever it's called. So That's like this game's equivalent of the evil mist. Can you do it? Can you do it? I'm ready. Right. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Shoot. Okay, he's right here. He's getting that guy up. If he can. It's a little tough sometimes. A little twitchy. Uh, we got to get out of this area, too. Q. 
can't get him. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that is the one thing about this. It's, it can be tough to get the actual res off. Oh, that's the one bug that I found in this. And you can see that we failed to do so, and that area got closed off. So now I have to look for another res spot. Okay, he found some over here. Yeah, there's plenty right around here. Sectors will soon be collapsing. There's one there. Uh, how do I get in there? Okay. Over here. Here we go. Somebody get me back up. Come on, Tantric Thor. Get to somebody. Where are you going? He's fighting that guy over there. Okay. He's doing a good job, too. He's uh, he's not bad. Maybe he's just planning to solo carry. Oh, he's got there's a point like right next to him too apparently. Okay, see if we can actually get that guy up first. That oh, looks like he got him. All right, all right, all right. Yep. And come on, get me, get me. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> It's so twitchy. There we go. All right. And I get the D-Tap, which is a, a weapon with an aimbot, basically. Uh, I need more. I need more, though. I absolutely need more. Up. Oh. That guy's going to drop down on us. Oh, I'm dead already. Yep. Didn't have a chance. Just didn't have good gear there. Where's my team? The team's over there. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's spots here, but it's also a little crowded. I wonder if he can get me from the window there. Can he get me from there? Oh, behind you, behind you. Nope. Where is he? Where's that guy? I'm going to try to call him out. There. Oh, we got him. Nice. So he should have dropped a res point. Oh. That guy right here. Get him. Get him. Oh, he's almost dead. Look at that. He's got like one HP. Oh, he got him. Good. Okay. Okay, we're getting that guy. I'll go over here for this one. Come on. I know. Threats. Oh, we got... Uh, Really? Can't get me here? Okay, let's go back here then. Where was that? Uh, oh, God, it's up here? That's not going to work. Maybe. Okay, fine. We'll use this one over here. All right, all right, all right. Oh, see, I knew this was a bad place. Can I get a decent weapon now? I'll stick with these guys for now. Shit, I'm getting killed. Ah! What is this? It's a reveal. Whoopee. That's uh, almost worse than useless. There's a wall. Uh, Jesus Christ, I need a gun. Give me a gun. Let's go hole up in this building here. Uh, there we go. Maybe there's something up here? All right. Grenade launcher, that'll do. Uh, I'll go with that instead. Uh oh. I'll save you. Oh, there's lots of loot here, though. Oh, that's probably all his. I'll let him grab it then. Uh, oh, a full strength ripper. Yes. And Viz. The viewers have chosen the health kit event. Oh, I hear somebody. 
Yeah, I finished him. Ah, I should have done armor there instead. Yeah, I've tried to go in Viz. I tried to be fancy. Yeah, I should have done armor. That was a bad move on my part. But I finished that kill. <laughs> Where are we looking at? Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, you got me. Oh, shit. Oh, oh that's friendly. Okay. I'm going to go right back over there and get that gear if I can. Actually, we're down to just five squads, too, which is not bad. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't want any of that. Okay. And we got to get out of this zone, too. 20 seconds. All right. There we go. That didn't matter because I was invulnerable. Three, two, one. Uh, all right. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I'm not hitting him. So close. He was almost dead. Oh, we got him. Okay, good job. Good job. What do we got over here? Okay, full strength on that. Okay, that's good. Reveal event. Where are we? We're over here. Okay. Uh, down to five teams, too. So we're doing all right, although I should say the, the one guy on my team is doing all right. I'm not doing a heck of a lot. Uh, I think I got him. Here you go. Finish him. Oh, I'm, I'm in hurt. I'm hurt. Armoring up. Got to get up here, can I? All right, I can. Okay. Uh, Using my invis to take a moment here. Peeling up a bit. There's a jump. I think I might actually grab that instead. Let me do the slam. There we go. Okay, where are we at? We're over here. Okay. Are we going to win this? Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant to do my other thing. Oh, damn. I hit the... Solar panel there. All right, what do we got? Oh, I got sniped. Oh, I got sniped bad. Oof. Let's see. Yeah, okay, we're going down here. All right. What do we got? We got a rest spot in this building? We do not. I'm just up top here. Hopefully somebody's killing somebody. Let me see. Okay. Oh, one of our guys is dead. It's all up to you, Tantric Thrower. You got to carry us. As has been the case this whole match. All right. So now it's time for the showdown, which means that the crown is going to spawn in a moment, I think. There is not a good res spot anywhere. Yep, there's the crown. Okay. Where is it? Crown is incomes can be right there. Okay. Um, this is not a good place to try and do a res, obviously. Do we have any spot? Okay, the crown is active. I'm not going to get rezzed again. It's too late in the match, I think. Yep, there's a guy there. There's a couple guys. Holy crap. Anybody can go for the crown. Tantric Thor, he's not even close. Okay, I should actually try to be helping him, maybe. Unless he's going to go for the crown. Is he? I don't know. Somebody gave me 
Maybe. Maybe he'll get me up. If he thinks he can. It's just two squads left. Us and one other team. God, we might win this one. <laughs> I have not won a match of this yet. There he is. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Crown. Crown, crown, crown. Oh, it's a three-man team. Oh, we're screwed then. They're going over there. Uh, crap. So it's 1v3, basically. Our guy versus them. That's not going to go well. Oh, no. We got two up. No, we don't. Oh, dang. So close. So close. Yeah, Tantric Thor just carried hard. Yeah, well, you know, I got one kill. <laughs> See, there we go. And I get credit for my dailies, or my weeklies, whatever they are. A little bit of both. See how I did after the match. See how I progressed. And there it is. Escaped my hub. And that's about it. That is Hyperscape from Ubisoft. Uh, as mentioned, currently in open beta. Now you have to go and download the Uplay launcher to get it. It's not on Steam or anywhere else right now, so you have to get it through Uplay. On the bright side, by doing that, you also get the. Uh, you can also link up your account for on Twitch, or whatever, to Uplay, so you can get all those bonuses and so forth if you watch streams. But yeah, that's about it. That that's the game right there. As mentioned, there's a single player mode, and they also experimented with a little bit of a single player mode where it was all dark and foggy during the test. So they have other things in mind, certainly, as well, in addition to the tournament stuff that they're showing off over there. So pretty interesting game, even though that was not my best match. I've had better ones before. I think try, trying to narrate while I'm trying to play was messing me up a little bit. That That's my excuse. That's why I was so terrible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, even if you think a fast-paced battle royale isn't your cup of tea, give it a shot, maybe. See what you'll think about it. And... Uh, even even if you're not doing all that well, you, you carried almost victory by a good team. So that's going to be it for our first look of Hyperscape. As always, head on over to mmobomb.com for all your free-to-play gaming news, reviews, articles, podcasts, videos, contests, giveaways, and so much more. My name is Jason Winter, and I will see you later.